Hi folks, welcome back. This is uh, end of June and we're going to do a little drive through uh, some of the worst neighborhoods here in Las Vegas, which are ironically kind of close to um, downtown Fremont Street. And so, uh, buckle up. Temperature outside is about 102 or so it says on the phone. And uh, we're gonna to, today we're gonna go down by Fremont Street, go north of there, and then we're gonna go uh, up towards North Las Vegas, the city of North Las Vegas. At which point we will uh, take a look at some of the letter streets, uh, begin with the letters, or uh, actually they are letters, A, B, C, D, etc. I don't know if you can make it out over there. The sphere, the MSG, MSG sphere, is uh, lit up today, uh, half green, half like purplish. Sure, they're still doing testing for it, getting it ready for its uh, debut in what is supposed to be September. The first concert supposed to be uh, U2 here in 2023. Weather says there's no humidity, or at least there's 13% humidity, which is pretty much no humidity today. Uh, but there are clouds there in the distance, as you can see. Very light wind, if any doesn't look like many of the trees are moving. We're heading down Stewart here. We're going to take Stewart pretty much all the way downtown towards Fremont Street and the Fremont Street experience. This is the light at Christie. We uh, posted vid videos of uh, driving up Christie before, so if you haven't checked those out, please do. an interesting look into the other side of Las Vegas, past the glamour of the Strip, the wow factor down on the Las Vegas Strip. If you uh, haven't yet subscribed, please do, please like and subscribe to this video if you like it, and uh, of course subscription and scrubs, the subscribing is totally free for you. Um, but if we can get up to a thousand subscribers, then YouTube will monetize the channel and we can um, use that money to pay, uh, put towards our uh, son's college tuition. And that's what, uh, that's what this is all about. In addition to providing enjoyment for all of you good folks. Shout out to those of you from Canada and the UK. See, uh, some of you are from those locales. Want to thank you so much for joining and subscribing especially. Showing you a side of Vegas that most people don't ordinarily see. This is the light at Nellis and Stewart here in Northeast Vegas. That 7-Eleven uh, there across the street used to have a gas station. Now it's just a regular 7-Eleven. They used to, uh, there's a bunch of 7-Elevens on this side of town, but not many of them have uh, gas pumps anymore, which is odd. Maybe it just wasn't a uh, profitable enough endeavor for them. Stewart here goes all the way up to the east, up into the uh, foothills of Frenchman's Mountain, and uh, terminates down here at uh, Las Vegas Boulevard. Actually, no, it goes a little bit west of that, but it doesn't go past Interstate 15. which runs right down the, uh, actually parallels very close to the Las Vegas Strip. Las Vegas Boulevard, that is. A lot of the older homes here on this side of town you can see on either side. The air conditioning units are placed up on the roofs, which is a little different. I mean, I, I grew up in Florida, so we of course had to have air conditioning down there, but we didn't, uh, didn't have it up on the roof very much. I don't remember it being up on the roof. This is the light at Marion. Not a major thoroughfare. We'll break these, uh, these longer videos up into uh, little one-minute videos that YouTube likes to call shorts. Um, because then... Um, that's their answer to TikTok. So 
a lot of these videos you may I uh, may just jump into it for when they, when it is a short you may just jump right into it because um, I'm in the middle of a much longer video but rest assured I'm not going to uh, be too distracting especially in the shorts a lot of construction going on over there on the left This is the light at Lamb Boulevard. Lamb Boulevard is a very major artery here on the uh, east side of town. Goes all the way down, actually curves into what becomes Desert Inn, down by Boulder Station, which you can see in the foreground, or at least the middle ground, of the daily uh, live look-ins that we do. The Las Vegas Strip daily live look-ins. It's uh, to the left and in front of, uh, just to the left and in front of um, Mandalay Bay. It's a little, it's a, it's a regular, uh, neighborhood casino, but the station casinos, there's several of them all over town. Some of the more popular ones being Red Rock uh, Station and uh, Green Valley Ranch, in addition to others. There were two out on Rancho Boulevard that uh, COVID uh, destroyed. Essentially, they uh, closed them during COVID and they just did not rebound. And in fact, they didn't even reopen them. They went ahead and demolished them and now they're just going to sell off the land. So two less casinos, but that's okay. There's plenty of them around town to make it up, make up for them. Road work ahead. This is the road work occurring here at the uh, U.S. Highway 95 interchange, or not interchange, uh, overpass. There is no interchange here at Stewart. Um, they're widening U.S. Highway 95 slash I-515 as it's also designated, slash U.S. Highway 93. So it uh, has multiple personalities. Light at Sand Hill here, not a major thoroughfare here on the east side of town. Put some banners up here in the uh, median. I don't know if you can make them out. East Las Vegas, a place to call home, it says. That's going to be up to your judgment, <laughs> based upon what you see in these videos. We're going to go over here to the other side, the eastbound side, because they're still working on this bridge. And they have this light here at Picos on a timer, so we'll just wait our turn. The line's not as long as it usually is over here might just be because it's the middle of a Thursday afternoon here in late June. Picos also goes by the name Camino Cesar, Ch Cesar Chavez over here. It's pretty much a major thoroughfare all the way from the city of Henderson all the way up to um, the north end of town, the outskirts of town. However, it does get broken up as many streets do in this town um, and disjointed so you can't tra you can't take it the entire length of the route there is the Las Vegas or Clark County Detention Center where folks will spend the night or maybe more than a night after their uh, debauchery down on strip becomes out of control You can make out downtown Las Vegas up here, uh, up on the right. You can see the Circa is the tallest building downtown. Light here at Mojave, Mojave Road. And it's summertime, but it appears that uh, school is in session up here. We've got a school zone. That'll drop us to 15 miles an hour. School, it's called, here at 2800 East Stewart Avenue. Not familiar with that name. Sounds like it might be a charter school. We are 28 blocks east of Las Vegas Boulevard here in Fremont Street, the Fremont Street Experience. 
unlike other towns, when you run into the numbers and letters in this town, they usually tend to indicate older neighborhoods that might not be 100% safe to walk in after dark. See some uh, buildings over here that kind of look the same. Here at the corner of Eastern and Stewart. More ACs up on the roofs. Coming up on the light here at Eastern. Eastern is a major thoroughfare. It travels all the way from the very tip, the very edge of Henderson, which becomes Anthem, it's a, a, a township of some sort called Anthem down there. And uh, travels all the way up here, becomes Civic Center Drive in the city in North Las Vegas. And then it uh, terminates unceremoniously up near uh, Craig Road, or maybe just north of Craig, if I remember correctly. Take a look over here at this structure and its artwork. Bail bonds over there on the, on the corner. Of course, another 7-Eleven. There's a tire shop. Right there on the, what's the northwest corner of the intersection here. We've got a green, so we're gonna pay attention to that. Car is saying 96 degrees here, but uh, I think that might be a little off. 96 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what the uh, conversion is to uh, Celsius. Apologies to our friends in Canada and the uh, UK. They used to put the speed limits and other items up in both metric and English, but um, they stopped doing that for some reason. I think they still do it on the interstates and see like kilometers an hour. But I guess they figured it was too hard for people or something. Being a Star Trek fan, I kind of always wanted to learn the metric system because everything they talk about in the Star Trek world is in metrics, meters, kilometers, etc. And the Kelvin system. There's a house there on the corner. 16 blocks away now from this, from uh, Fremont Street. stop here. Of course, that gentleman is not stopping for anyone. The Grand Hotel here in, in Casino up here. You can see it up in the up on the left there in downtown Las Vegas. This is Maryland Parkway, a pretty major east, oh, I'm sorry, pretty pretty major north-south artery here on the east side of town. But uh, I think it has kind of a low speed limit in some areas, so it's not necessarily the fastest. Got some uh, folks here on the sidewalk. The El Cortez there on the left, one of the oldest casinos here in downtown Las Vegas. You know, a lot of folks wonder about I get questions about um, how safe it is to walk east of Fremont Street. And uh, the answer is, it really depends. Certainly after dark, it might be a little bit problematic. The Cortez here is east of the Fremont Street experience. And our journey today is going to take us up north of the uh, Fremont Street Experience. So you'll get to see what would happen if you were to try and walk up towards, I think it's the Neon Museum that's up there, north of uh, the Fremont Street Experience. Just for a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our videos so that we can uh, get YouTube to monetize the channel. It's totally free to you, always. Um, but if you, YouTube monetizes us, we can use that money to put towards our son's college tuition. So please, please like and subscribe. And coming up to Fremont Street here, there's an earlier video we did that shows 
driving on Fremont Street. So feel free to take a look at that. That is Container Park right there, made of shipping containers. And there is a praying mantis right there that fires up at night. I've had a request to uh, get down here and take some video of that occurring. I just haven't had a chance to do it at night. We have our little one-year-old there at home, so I'll make time for it. We have some uh, little restaurants here on the sides of Fremont. Directly ahead is the Fremont Street Experience and Hennessy's Tavern, the big Guinness-looking beverage there on the left. And some interesting artwork over here on the right that says Corporate Welfare, Fremont Center. This is 6th Street. And then that brings us up here to Las Vegas Boulevard which begins the Fremont Street Experience. We've got the Smashed Pig Gastro Pub here, pretty good place. I've been there. There's a nightclub, three floors, nightclub and lounge. And we're gonna make the right here. Here's Heart Attack Grill. And now if you were to be walking north of the Fremont Street Experience up here, this is what you would see on Las Vegas Boulevard North. We're going to come back across to Stewart, and we're going to stop. And so we're two blocks north, north of the uh, Fremont Street Experience. Just want to show you some of the uh, sights and sounds. There's Zappos headquarters. The sign up there says. Uh, Normandy Motel. Elvis slept here in the median up there. This uh, junctions with the uh, aforementioned Interstate 515, US 93, US 95, with its multiple personalities. US 95 goes all the way up to the border with Canada and goes all the way down to the border with Mexico throughout the Mountain West here. still says it's only 96 degrees, but that does not seem accurate. There's Zappos, the inside there. Well, the inside of their little courtyard, it appears. And uh, there's a motel there, right off the uh, exit ramp. I'm not sure. I can't see the name of it. It's close to Fremont Street, but I don't think you'd want to try walking, especially after uh, after dark. These lights turn green, and the one up there at Bonanza immediately turns red. It's a recipe for congestion. Pay less tires here on the on the right. They demolished something over there on the northwest corner there. See what looks to be a front loader of some sort, backhoe, over there. And they're watering it down to minimize the dust. Looking back over here, there's a U.S. Marshal Parks and Recreation Administration over there, City of Las Vegas. Exactly sure. It's obviously a city building, a city building of some sort, but not sure what they do there. Just a quick reminder again: please like and subscribe to our channel if you like what you see. If we can get up to a thousand subscribers or more, we will uh, YouTube will monetize the channel, and then we can use that to uh, put towards our son's college tuition, which is growing ever increasingly more expensive in this day and age. But he's one now, so we figured we would try and get started early. 
a sign up there by the 7-Eleven. I'm not sure if it's in front of the truck up there. It says Cultural Corridor. Well, we shall see. We also take these longer videos, of course. Just a reminder, we do break them up into smaller one-minute uh, one shorts, which uh, helps YouTube with its uh, competition to TikTok. So if you're catching this in the middle of one of those videos, there is a longer version of this video that is also up on our page. So please feel free to check out the long version if you're just catching this little one. It looks like a little 50cc bike there that gentleman's on and there's the constructor demo demolition over there behind the cash for cars cash for jump car sign and we're going to take this up to Washington Washington Avenue or Boulevard I'm not sure Seagull Suites, they have locations all over town. Motel Bow and Arrow. And there's the Neon Museum, where a lot of the former neon signs, Neon Boneyard Park, neon signs will light up at night. Instead of destroying them, they go ahead and they uh, put them up there and kind of as kind of a museum, which is cool. They destroy too much here in Vegas, if you ask me, but that's my humble opinion. We're going to make a left here on Washington. And this is a Cashman Center here on the right. They just concluded, I don't know if we can make it out over there, but there's some stadium lights over there. Um, they just concluded the inaugural season of the Las Vegas Vipers in the XFL, the league that Dwayne The Rock Johnson started, or has a hand in. They didn't do so well. They went two wins against eight losses. And they fired their coach, who was legendary secondary uh, defensive player, Rod Woodson. I'm gonna make the left here on to Washington. And again, just a quick reminder, please like and subscribe to our channel if you like what you see like to get up to a thousand subscribers so that way YouTube will monetize the channel and we can go ahead and uh, put that money towards our son's college tuition. There is the Circa and so this is the view from here in what is just about to be North Las Vegas. Yantera Tire Shop there on the left. And we're going to make it right here on Main Street, which parallels Las Vegas Boulevard and actually goes up here into north, the city of North Las Vegas. Interchange with Interstate 15 up there, straight ahead. And we're going to make this right. And I've seen people do other videos go uh, here in town, and they will go out here to Four Master Lane. We're going to try and go down Four Master Lane to show you the crisis that is the homelessness here in Las Vegas. New Woo Cannabis Market there on the left side of the street, Las Vegas Smoke Shop. And there's a charity of some sort, Catholic charity here. And I think that's what tends to bring a lot of these people over into this location here on Four Master Lane. Just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making these videos. We really do enjoy making them for you if we can get up to a thousand subscribers. YouTube will monetize the channel and it's totally free to you to subscribe. Just wanted to uh, come down here and take a look. Show folks seen here just a few blocks north of downtown 
Fremont Street, downtown Las Vegas. Social services here on the left. And they have it closed off here at Las Vegas Boulevard, so we're gonna make a U-turn. It's actually not as busy or packed over here as it has been in the past. Usually it's very, very busy. Street and Four Master Lane. I'm not sure if this person is trying to turn or not. We're going to go ahead and uh, try and follow them out. Help Las Vegas Plaza. I'm not familiar with that or their mission. Here we are back on Main Street, Las Vegas. See the homeless here? Looks like they've got groups that are handing out food. Yep, they've got styrofoam containers there. So that's good. At least they're getting fed. See this gentleman here with his styrofoam, well, a little bit. Jerry's Nugget Casino up here, uh, dead ahead. You can see the sign popping out into the sky there. In the distance, this truck just ran a red light. Good thing no one was coming. Car still six, says it's 96 degrees. I beg to differ. 96 degrees Fahrenheit. I think that's around 34 degrees Celsius, maybe? Something like that. Owens Avenue here is a major east-west. It goes all the way up to the eastern uh, foothills of Frenchman Mountain. All the way out west, it becomes uh, Vegas Drive, I believe, on the other side of MLK Boulevard. through the heart of North Las Vegas and the letter streets, A, B, C, D, etc. Someone on the corner there advertising free phones. Salvation Army here on the left. Railroad track crossing, or a bridge actually, overpass here above us. Actually, no correction, that looks like a just a walkway of some sort. And here we are at A Street in the city of Las Vegas, uh, North Las Vegas. And there is Interstate 15 below us. The West Las Vegas neighborhood, the historic West Side, an old West Side, it's in Spain as it's known. Coming up here on D Street. D for David, or Delta. See Metro Police there. And we're gonna just gonna do this for a moment. And again, just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making these videos, Historic West Side there. If we get up to a thousand subscribers or more, YouTube will monetize the channel. And then we can uh, use that money to put towards our son's college tuition. I know it doesn't look so bad right now, but uh, there are a lot of calls for service to the police up here in this town. See 
the stratosphere down there. Give you an idea of where we're at. The stratosphere is, of course, at the north end of the Las Vegas Strip. Passing by what is Nucleus Plaza. It's an interesting name. Coming up to the light here at J Street, Nucleus Law Group. Someone liked it enough to name their law practice after it. Rancho. Approaching the light here at Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in North Las Vegas. West Las Vegas Arts Center. Pointing north there it says. And again, just in case you're catching this in uh, one of the shorter one-minute shorts, the longer version of this video is on our page. We just break it up into the uh, one-minute shorts for YouTube because that's their answer to TikTok. So um, if you're catching this during one of the shorts, please feel free to check out the entire video. It's also posted. There's Cox, home of Cox Cable and Internet. I'll reserve judgment on them. provide home internet to most of the valley here. T-Mobile does now too, but I think T-Mobile's is not as fast download speed. And then there's another, another company here that I can't quite recall, I don't, but I don't think theirs is very fast either. Oh, and then there's another one, CenturyLink, which is uh, DSL, but theirs is not very fast either. Coming up on the light here at Tunapah, Tunapa Drive. Tunapa is almost precisely halfway between here in Las Vegas and Reno, Nevada. It's about 200 miles northwest of here off of US Highway 95. Very hot day, so uh, folks aren't going to be wandering about very much out here in North Las Vegas. Veterans Tribute to Career and Tech Center here on the left. Simmons Road, or Street, rather, Street Star, Simmons Street. A lot of empty lots here. Adrian and Trey. Mural there. And Tunapah is said to be uh, a ghost town, or a, a, a to have. Uh, been haunted. There's a hotel there, I think it's called the Mizpah, that uh, I've heard is haunted, so you can check that out if you want. If you're driving between here and Reno, we're going to make the right here on the Rancho, which is actually the business route of US 95. See the police there on the, on the left? Putting up new homes here on the right. Homes or yeah, it says Harmony Homes. This was the original US 95, I believe. And the aforementioned casinos that they were torn down, this is all that's left of them here on the right. Looks like just a parking garage. There used to be a Fiesta and was it Santa Fe? Or no, not Santa Fe. Fiesta and Texas Station were the two that were here. And now all that remains is a parking garage and the sign out in front. Again, victims of COVID. When the pandemic passed, the corporate company of Station Casinos decided that it was not worth it to reopen them. So they went ahead and decided it would be less trouble to demolish the, both buildings, hotel casinos, and um, sell the land. 
it doesn't appear that it's been sold yet. They did COVID testing over here in the early days at Texas Station, what was Texas Station. Just a reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making these videos. We really do enjoy bringing them to you. If we get up to a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel and that way we can uh, take that money and put our son into college. It's about, this is about his future and making enjoyment, enjoyable content for you. And this is the light here at Lake Mead Boulevard. It extends all the way across town from the west side of north of Summerlin, all the way, in fact, it goes past the east end of town, goes out to, uh, it joins up with roads that will take you out to Lake Mead itself and Hoover Dam. Sign up there at Fiesta on the Marquee says, visit us at Palace Station, Boulder Station, Sunset Station, Santa Fe Station, Red Rock Station, and Green Valley Ranch. Those are their remaining uh, properties. But they also bought the Strat, which was the Stratosphere, a while back. So I believe that's in there. Or, no, I'm sorry, I'm totally wrong. I, that's Golden Entertainment, which owns PT's. PT's Gold here, I totally got those confused. Like here at Cary. Cary's a pretty major east-west. Surprising because it's so close to the huge artery that is Lake Mead Boulevard. We're going to go ahead and get right here on the left. State Police. They recently changed their names to the State Police from State Trooper. So now they're the Nevada State Police. Nevada State Police. North Las Vegas Airport here driving by. We're going to go ahead and get up here so that we can uh, make the right onto Decatur Boulevard. And we're going to make this turn here. BMW X4 in front of us. Actually, we're not going to make that turn because that is not this is Decatur, it becomes disjointed here for a little bit, and then it uh, does this. Cuts off to the north. Rancho runs northwest and southeast, so we're going to head on to Decatur, which is going to bring us back to the north, heading due north. And just a shot of the North Las Vegas Airport over here. And then we're coming up here to the light at Cheyenne Boulevard. Cheyenne is again another major east-west artery. Cheyenne Avenue, rather, sorry. Runs all the way from uh, the 215, and actually it goes just west of the 215 into a little neighborhood out there, west of the 215. Um, and it goes all the way east to uh, Nellis, and then Nellis Boulevard, and then it it cuts into the um, Air Force Base, Nellis Air Force Base, there on the northeast end of town. Just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like, subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. We really do enjoy making them for you. If we get to a thousand subscribers, we'll be able to monetize the channel, and uh, YouTube will monetize the channel for us, and we can uh, use that to pay for our son's college tuition. Helicopter up there, presumably taking off from North Las Vegas Airport here, with all the congestion and nightmarish experience down at the main airport at McCarran, Las Vegas International Airport. You would think that uh, maybe they would try and open up one of the other airports, but then they've had, they've also had talk about opening up an airport south of town, completely south of town, on the other side of the hill from the M Casino, which is the, the south edge of town, like a huge, um, huge metropolitan um, regional airport down there, which, I mean, LA is only 250-ish miles away, so... That's really the main regional. You can see Decatur going all the way out to the end there. We're going to make a left here on the Gowan 
as we head towards our destination today, which is John Bull's Meats and Roadkill Grill. As featured on Guy Fieri's show, this is in a very residential neighborhood, very good barbecue. Um, if you haven't had it, I strongly recommend it. Guy Fieri was here. It's been here forever. All the homes here just kind of grew up around it. It's here off of Tom with an H, T-H-O-M Boulevard. We're gonna make the right. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If you like what you see, uh, please subscribe, I just said that, sorry. Um, if we get up to a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel for us and we can use that to uh, put our son into college, pay for his tuition, so that would be terrific. I want to thank you all so much for subscribing already. Without you, there is no us. Here we are, John Moles Meats. It is looking pretty busy. We're going to go ahead and pull in. And it is a gravel parking lot here. We're going to keep the video playing while we just park. We're going to park right here on the left, but we're going to keep playing the video. Okay. See, John Mull's meat and the Roadkill Grill. Probably easier to park on this side, on the, on the south side, than the north, because the north side is where Roadkill Grill is, and there's typically a very long line for uh, takeout here. And there is a line; doesn't appear to be too long. Fortunately, I shouldn't have to stand in that line, so that's good. Interior here at Roadkill Grill, very, very small. You can see it here. I'm up against the wall here. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. It's totally free to you. Behind us here, uh, t shirts. They offer t shirts here at John Mole's Meats Roadkill Grill. Let's see him serving it up. See the line here is not too bad for a Thursday afternoon. They have a little picnic area here that you can use to hang out if the weather's good. We're gonna try and pick up our order here at the end of the walkway, she said. So is that here? Not sure, just gonna keep trying to find it. They do have restrooms here. Well, it wouldn't be here then, so it would be here where this gate is. And uh, we're just going to hang out here, wait for someone to come. We uh, ordered some food. I'd be the world's biggest hypocrite to come all the way out here and not to pick up some food while I'm here. The Grub Shack, John Mold Meats, Roadkill Grill. Take a look at the neighborhood around here. It's actually not very busy at all, which is surprising.
They also do uh, slaughter here. So you can buy in bulk. If you choose. And again, just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. We really do enjoy making these videos for you. Right, especially right here at John Moles Meats and Roadkill Grill. If we get up to a thousand subscribers, YouTube will uh, monetize the channel and we can use that to send our son to college. Really appreciate everyone who has subscribed. Welcome again to our UK and Canada subscribers and viewers. Hi there. She, uh, she told me to come pick up my cold food. Yeah. Can you pick up on that? What's your name? Uh, Don Williams. Don Williams? Yeah. This line is usually, you can see it here, it's not that long at all. It usually extends all the way back here and then all the way out almost to the street and then curves back against that fence. This being a Thursday afternoon, it's not that busy. Go ahead. Very popular spot here. And again, it's in a residential neighborhood. You wouldn't expect to find it in here. And a little light plane flying above out of North Las Vegas Airport. And uh, the car said it's 96 degrees, but uh, I think it's a little warmer than that. Still, they, have, they do have picnic tables out here for you. I'm gonna go ahead and set my items down here. Sorry about that. If you missed her, uh, Nita was uh, the lady inside helping us. She was very, very nice. Had a great personality on her. Welcome to Las Vegas sign there. A little baby one. And at this time, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pause the video while we wait for our food. Thanks again for joining. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos for you.